So we left off talking about this data set uh, as a as 10 quiz scores out of 10, 5 out of 10, 9 out of 10, and so on and so forth. What I'm going to start talking about now is what 11.2 is on, which is about what happens when we start affecting the data in some way. So let's hypothesize that I was feeling really generous one day, and I was like, hey, everybody gets two extra credit points on this quiz. So the person who got five now has a seven out of 10, and the person who had nine now has 11 out of 10, and so on and so forth. So now we'd have to ask, what happens to our new mean, median, mode, range, and standard deviation? And just so happens we have a slide on this. When we add a constant to every data value, okay, those data values are those quiz scores, we add a constant, let's say two points to every quiz score. The new mean, median, and mode of the data set could be found by adding that same constant to the old mean, median, and mode. Meanwhile, the range and the standard deviation would be unchanged. What are we looking at here? What does this mean? What we're saying is, if I were to add two to every value in the data set, and I knew, let's say, the old mean, I believe, was 7.7, .7, if I added two to every value here, my new mean would be 9.7. I would just take the old mean and add two to it, because that's what I had added to every one of these data entries. And the same can be true said for the mode and the median. Mode's a really easy example. If I were to add two to everything here, uh, the old mode was eight, because we had the number eight three times. Well, the new mode is gonna be 10, because we added two to every one of these. And now the most common quiz score is 10. Uh, same can be said for the median. If I were to kind of imagine them on a number line from smallest to largest, and I just added two, that would shift everything up two. Well, the middle score is still gonna be that same same one, it's just gonna be shifted two to the right. Meanwhile, the range and the standard deviation wouldn't be changed. Remember, range and standard deviation are measures that talk about how spread out the data is. So range is really easy to see. The old range was five because you took the largest number and you subtracted the smallest number to get five. Well, if I added two to everything, my new smallest score is seven, and my new largest score is 12, 12 minus seven is still five. 12 minus five is still seven. Nope, 12 minus 7 is still 5. So, what about when we multiply every data value by a constant? Well, here our notes say, if you multiply every data value by a constant, all five statistics can just be multiplied by that uh, same constant. So, let's say, on the other hand, I was feeling really upset one day, and I just said, everybody loses half of their points on the quiz. So, the new lowest score is two and a half, and so on and so forth. All these scores just cut, got cut in half. Well, if I knew the old statistics, those five uh, statistics that we had, I could just cut each one in half because that's going to be the effect that uh, they would have. So one thing I could do if I wanted to find all five is I could re-enter them, two and a half, four and a half, four, and so on and so forth, and then calculate them. Or if I knew the old statistics, I could just multiply each of those statistics by half, multiply the mean, the median, the mode, the range, and the standard deviation by a half, and then I would have my answer. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is the effect of an outlier. An outlier on a data set is a number that, a data value that is far outside of the expected or the usual. And so when it comes to how outliers affect each one of these statistics, uh, they vary, okay? If you're talking about the mean, the mean is affected a decent amount. Meanwhile, the median and the mode are unaffected, right? The middle number, if I just take out the most, a really extreme answer, the median isn't going to really be affected because the median is just the middle one. And the mode is the most common uh, data value, and that isn't going to be changed by, by an outlier. The range is affected in a significant way. Okay, uh, the largest number minus the smallest number, if there is a data value that is far outside the expected, that is going to have a big impact on the range. Uh, and it's also going to affect the standard deviation a decent amount because the standard deviation is what to expect. How far do you expect your data value to be off of the mean? So uh, if I were to rank them, uh, median and mode are very not affected. While the average is a little affected, and the standard deviation uh, is affected, and the range is most affected. 